Hey guys, we've talked a lot about goal setting in the last few weeks. Now, a number of you have reached out with similar issues. I mean, it was phrased in many different ways, but they all pointed to the same thing. Now, for some of you, we've uh, spoken on the phone, but I decided to put this video out there and I'm guessing that others could benefit from this. Now, if I summarize that question that kept coming up, um, it's basically this. Now, how do you deal with overcoming the insurmountable? Now, of course, like I said, that question came in many different shapes and sizes, but in short, all of them dealt with the belief that there was something in the future that could not be overcome. Now, we're going to use that same example of the ladder that I've been using for the whole goal setting exercise. Now, for the benefit of those who missed it or who just joined us, it goes like this. Now, you set your goals. It should be something that you really want and not something that someone else wants. So, for example, if you want to get out of that job that's held you hostage all these years, your goal should be a detailed visualization of your end state once you're there. So, for example, you're able to spend lots of time with your family, enjoying family meals, family holidays, or just having time for yourself to pursue your passions without needing to worry about that next paycheck or how you're going to retire. Once you've got that done, you found your wall and you're going to climb that wall because the top of that wall is your goal. Then you get a ladder, put it on that wall, that ladder is your plan, and each step of that ladder is a task. Now, if you keep climbing that ladder one step at a time, you will get to the top of that wall, and the top of the wall is your goal. So it's really quite simple. But like I said in my blog, there's some people who get to the second step of that ladder and they say they can't see the top of that wall, and to them that's an insurmountable task. And it's, it's not, it's just a part of climbing that ladder. And then there's people who say that they're on the second step and they don't want to take that third step because it's too difficult or it's too risky. But look around, there's others who have gone before you and using that same ladder and gotten to the top of their walls. Now for the people in the second category, which I was in as well, uh, what we need to do is to overcome a form of a limiting belief. I personally had limiting beliefs and those really kept me bound in chains, so to speak. My two biggest were that I was a lawyer, drew my identity from that. I'd been doing that for so long that that's all I knew. You know, how would I get paid if I stopped doing that? You know, my other huge erroneous belief was that I was overweight and destined to be overweight. Now, the last time I was not obese before, before now, that is, was when I had surgery and couldn't eat for a whole week. Now, try as I may, I could not overcome these obstacles until I understood this. My limiting beliefs, and indeed all our limiting beliefs, are caused by just two things. Pain from our past experiences and our natural human desire to avoid pain and anxiety about the future and that makes us embrace the status quo and avoid change. Now, having this clarity meant that I could address these two issues directly. Firstly, that my past must not be allowed to determine my future, and that maintaining the status quo meant that I would never be free from my law job or, and I'd continue to be overweight. Now, the moment I realized these, I could climb that ladder with a fury I took one step after another and got to the top of that wall and much more quickly than I thought I would, I might add. Now, losing all that weight I planned to and achieving my financial goals and eventually the time and financial freedom for myself and my family. So if you're facing challenges that are in your mind insurmountable, that's all it is. It's insurmountable in your mind. It's insurmountable because you're letting painful experiences from your past or some other anxiety about the future tell you that it is insurmountable. So, and let those go. Live in the now, not in the past or the future. Take one step at a time. And if you're on the right ladder, you will achieve your goals. I hope this helped you in some way. And if you did find that it helped you and would like to use that exact same ladder I use and take the same steps that I took, 
I'm happy to share that ladder with you. Now there's a link on this video or just below it. Now click that link, it'll take you to a free trial page for the Six Figure Mentors. It's going through that process that gave me the clarity to overcome those huge obstacles. Now those are the exact steps and coaching and mentorship that I received to break free from my lawyer's job of 20 years and lose all that weight. Now, as an added bonus, once you sign up for the full membership, get in touch with me and I'll get you registered for private exclusive weekly webinars with my mentors. So you'll be getting the exact steps and mentorship that I got to break through. So until next time, keep pursuing your dreams and I'll see you in the Members Lounge.